Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. So back with the new founder event walkthrough video. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the players that we are going to see in the new event. What is the highest OVR players we are? We are going to get from this event and which players are we going to get in the new FC24 game on 26th September. So make sure to watch the whole video and let me know in the comment section which players are you going to keep in your current team from this event. As you already know, only some things going to be carried over to the new season, which includes username and user ID, FIFA points, which will be called as FC points in the new game, and the ban status if anyone is having that. So let's start the video with some of the players we are going to see in this event. As you can see, our cover face of FC24 mobile. Next, we can see some top transfer event cards like 120 OVR Gondogan, 120 OVR Bellingham, 120 OVR Benzema. We also might see Messi card in future in this event, which still needs to be confirmed by EA. Next, we can see some great icon cards, which we are going to see in this event. I was waiting for Ronaldinho in this event, but uh, no worries. We are getting some great cards like Socrates. Now, let's dig into the event guide. The first chapter is a founder chapter. And the very first thing that you have to do is to become founder. And to become a founder, you just need to open the event and tap that ticket button over there. You will get a founder token which identifies you as a founder. There is some milestone which will unlock on the basis of how many people will become founders. Which will unlock different milestone and at the last milestone you can get 114 OVR by Nir Mokuku. Also, as we are getting in this event some pioneer cards which are none other than the now and later type of cards which we see in the earlier FIFA mobile seasons so for those who didn't know about the now and later things you will get the pioneer players from this event and the same card will be carry over to the next season FC24 with a lower rated card. Next is the club building chapter. This is just a simple chapter as we had earlier almost in all the previous events. We need to play some skill games and matches to earn some scout points and use those scout points to scout some players from the event. As you can see, we will be getting the scout points from daily and weekly games, which we need to play. Also, there is some ads we can watch to get extra scout points, of course. We can scout a player by using 50 scout points in this and make sure to keep this in mind that these Pioneer player will be changed after five days also we will be getting players with scout point if you don't want to try your luck in 3000 scout point you can get medicine in 2000 point you can get roberto formino in 3000 point you can get a world cup winner enzo fernandez and in 2000 point you can claim empanzu Next is Milestone Matches chapter, which is basically a simple chapter in which you just need to play against AI with some default teams. So in this chapter, you just need to play some historical matches since last five years, like a match between Juventus and Atletico Madrid. 
In the same manner, you need to play all the matches between 2018 till 2023 to get a captain's arm band. This captain arms band will help you in the next chapter, which is a transition chapter. You can use the captain arms band, which you claim from previous event to get one of the icons from this event. You need to claim any one of the cards from these three. Raul, Steven Gerrard or Zanetti. Also, the OVR mentioned for the next season in FC24 can be changed with the shown OVR. This will be confirmed by EA in September. So make sure to don't claim the player before September. Also, as I mentioned earlier, there will be new Pioneer players in five days. So as you can see, we can get new players after five days. And as you can see, we will be getting Cristiano Ronaldo, Wendai, Neymar Jr., Jude Bellingham, Onana, Enzo Fernandez, Grealish, Estupinia, Diago Jota, Socrates, and many more cards. So choose wisely which cards you need in your team in the current season and those will reflect in the new season also. Now, let's check out some exchanges. There is a new exchange in which you are going to get club points in which you can use your tradable or untradable cards to get the club points. Then you can use those club points in the founders to get some founder players. The condition of on the exchanges is not confirmed yet, but we will see that in the event. Now, let's see some store exchanges for the remaining retro points from the current event, which is going right now. There is one club exchange also in which we, you will get 10 club points in exchange of 10 million coins, which is having a limit of 20. You will get one scout point for six retro points, with no limit at all. And also you can exchange the pass points with the scout points. One pass point will give you one scout point, which is having purchase limit of 1000. Also, there will be no star pass or event pass for this event as confirmed by TA. This is it for this final event in the FIFA Mobile. Oh, I am able to explain the event clearly to each and every one of you. Make sure to hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Like. And also, you should join my lives to watch some amazing FIFA. Also, make sure to upload current team OVR. Mine is 140 right now and uh, I'm trying to get 143 at the end of this event so thank you for watching the video we'll meet you in the next video until then be safe and live the moment